All right, so this evening we're going to be doing a little bit of um, beginner jiu-jitsu. So we're just going to go over some uh, basic warm-ups and um, should be an easy, easy class for you. Uh, beginner level. So this is probably pretty good for almost, almost everybody. All right, so let's just start by warming up. Always got to warm up. Roll the shoulders back. Take the arms up and down. Up and down. Up and down. In and out. In and out. In and out. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Up and over. Stretch. 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 Hands on your hips. Torso rotation. Going around once. Going around twice, three times, and reverse. Going around once, going around twice, going around three times. Just your hips. Circle, 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 and reverse. Circle, circle, circle. Feet together. Rotate the knees. Going in circles and reverse. All right, let's take that right ankle, spin it around and reverse. Left ankle and around. Arms out, little circles going forward. And reverse, going back. And big circles up and back, up and back, up and back and reverse. Going forward, going forward, going forward. Right arm only. Full range of motion all the way around. All the way around and reverse. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Left arm, full range of motion all the way around. And reverse. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Take this right arm, bring it underneath your chin, hook it with your left, pull it through. Stretch out that shoulder. Take that arm straight up, back as far as it goes, behind your head. Pull on that elbow a little bit and lean over. Take your left arm across, hook it and pull it through. Stretch out that shoulder. Take it up, behind your head, lean over. And roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders. All right, let's look up. And down, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, left to right, looking over your shoulder, over your shoulder, over your shoulder, over your shoulder, ear to shoulder, sideways, 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 circles, going around one, two, three, and reverse, one, two, and three, roll your shoulders, all right, reach down and touch your toes, hang for a second, come up and backward, go down and touch your toes, come up and back, All right, stick your right toe out, go down, grab that toe, try to straighten out your leg. Come up, switch feet, stick out your toe, go down and grab a hold if you can, stretch it out. And come up, see if you can grab a hold of that left foot. Balance, pull up on that foot a little bit, stretch your quads. Switch feet. Bring those knees together if you can. All right, switch back. Grab your left foot. Oh, try that again. All right, grab your left foot. All right, from here, lean forward. And up. Now, see if you can lean sideways.
and up. All right, try the other foot. All right, slowly lean forward. Come up, lean sideways. And up. All right, take this hip, bring it back and roll it around. Back and one. Let's try not to touch the floor with this foot if possible. Back and two. Back and three. Back and four. Back and five. Let's try the other side. Back, circle one. Back, circle two. Back, circle three. Back, circle four. Back, circle five. Let's go back to the left foot. We're gonna go up and backwards. Up and one. Up and two. Up and three. Up and four. Up and five. Other side, up and one. Up and two. Up and three. Up and four up and five. You know why we do this exercise? Because we do throws and you need to have both the balance and the mobility. Okay? All right, so let's spread the feet apart. Come down the middle. Go down as far as you can. Walk over to your left foot. Try to keep your legs straight. Walk over to your right foot. Try to keep your legs straight. Walk back over one more time. And back. And right down the middle. And up. Now let's go over to the side. Stretch it out. Come up. Over to the other side. Stretch it out. Up. Over to the other side, stretch it out, up, over to the side, and stretch it out. All right, shake out your legs. All right, we're going to do some wrist exercises. Let me come in a little bit closer. So put your hands together like this. Bring them into a prayer and just go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. All right, now take your right hand, turn it completely around. Put your thumb on the back of your pinky knuckle. Take your fingers, wrap it around the meat of your thumb. We want to take this and we're going to twist it nice and easy. Twist, and you can go forward a little bit. Forward and twist, forward and twist, forward and twist. Okay, release, but keep the hands pressed together. Take your right hand, go all the way down, grab a hold back here, slowly. Bring your elbows down, breathe in, bring your elbows down, breathe in, bring your elbows down, breathe in, release, but keep the pressure on, take this right hand, take your fingers forward. Now both sets of fingers are forward, grab your right hand with your left hand, slowly pull that hand toward you, and if you want, you can take it up and in. Up and in, up and in, up and in. All right, from here, take your hand, palm down, take your hand, palm up, grab, put them together underneath, rotate your right hand under your arm, stretch it, release, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. All right, from here, you're going to turn that all the way over and shift the hands 
and now your fingers are on the fingers. Your thumb is underneath pushing. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Okay. So, from here, turn it around. Grab a hold. We're gonna go, we're gonna run through all of them all together. You're gonna go one, two, three, take your right hand down. One, two, three, take your right hand forward. One, two, three, top and bottom. One, two, three, reverse. One, two, three. Okay, you just did your right hand. Let's do the left. All right, from here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, take your left hand, turn it backwards. Put your thumb on your pinky. Take your fingers, wrap it around your thumb. Twist and slightly pull out. Twist, twist, twist. Release, keep the pressure on. Take your left hand down, grab a hold underneath, underneath this line, down, You're basically pressing your wrist down, press it down, stretching out the wrist, all right, release, keep the contact, hand goes out, both fingers are out, take your right hand, grab your left hand, pull it in, pull it in. Pull it in, pull it in. All right, from here, left hand on top, right hand on bottom. Take your hand, your left hand underneath your arm. Twist it back, twist it back, twist it back. From here, we're gonna go completely opposite. Continue on. Boom, you got fingers on fingers, thumb under in the back side, pushing forward. Push, push, push. All right, so let's put all those together. Take your left hand, back. Fingers around the thumb, thumb on the pinky. Twist, 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 and down. Down, 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 forward, in, 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 top, bottom, twist under, twist under, twist under, keep them connected, turn them other side, forward, forward, and forward, very nice. All right, all those come in handy later on when we're doing wrist locks. So from here, let's go on down. Another thing you can do for your wrists is from here, we're going to have, we'll be on all hands and fours, all fours, hands and knees, and you can lean forward and back, forward and back, and then take left hand out, you can take both hands, take them out to the sides, and then backwards, facing in, lean back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Back out to the sides. You can take them out. Take them out. Back forward. Do like doing a push up. Lean forward. You can take them in. You can do push ups this way as well. And then take your hand, turn it upside down. Gently push it down. Rotate it out. Push it down. Rotate it. Push it down. Back out, push it down. Forward, push it down. In, push it down. Other hand. Down. Roll it out, push it down. Roll it back, push it down. Roll it out, push it down. Roll it out, push it down. Roll it in, push it down. All right. Now we move down to our shoulders. You can do the same thing with your shoulders. Stretch it out. You just lay on your shoulder. Stretch it out. Lay on your shoulder. Stretch it out. 
Lay on your shoulder, stretch it up. All right, so we can do the frog. Spread your legs apart as far as you can take them. Lean all the way back as far as you can. Lean all the way forward. All the way back. All the way forward. All the way back. All the way forward. All right. All right, so now we get in a little bit more fun stuff. So from sitting down, we're just going to rock back and forth. 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 All right. So, a little massage to the back. Next one. Hands on the floor. Roll back. And up. Roll back. And up. Roll back. And up. Next time, when you roll back, slap. Slap. And up. Slap. And up. And up. Next time, we're going to kick all the way up. Slap, kick, and back up. Kick, back up. Slap and kick, back up. Slap and kick, back up. When you slap your hands down, it stops you from rolling. It's a breaker. Break fall. So you kick up. Lift yourself up. Have you ever seen the uh, exercise? Where you just go up, good ab exercise, up, 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 right? So you're working your abs, but it also slows down your backward momentum. So as you're going back, you kick up, and it keeps you from rolling over. All right. Next exercise, we're just going to take your legs all the way back over your head. Now, some of y'all can touch. Some of you can't, that's okay. Just You can keep your legs straight or you can bend them. And go over as far as you can. And then come back up for a second. Next time we're gonna go over both feet, try to take both feet over your shoulder. So up and over, one side. And down, and then go back over the other side. And then back over this side. And then back over the other side. All right. All right. Now, lay flat. So we've got an exercise. Well, you just lift, it's a bridge. You lift up and down, up and down. So let's keep doing this, let's go 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then let's try one foot up, same exercise. Lift, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take a breath. All right. So the next one, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna when you go up, when you press up. I want you to take your opposite hand and reach out over your other shoulder. All right, let's try 10 of those. Bring your heels in tight. Lift and reach one, two, three, four. Let's just do five and then go over to the other side. One, look up and over, two, three, Four and five. All right, come on up. These will come in handy as you start learning more of the uh, the defenses. 
All right, so let's take a, a backward roll. So we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier where we go back and take your knees over one side, but I want you to go all the way over, okay, over one side. Keep, keep this on flat. So you're gonna go back and around, okay? So we'll come back to the front of the mat. You're basically rolling over this shoulder. You wanna get your head out of the way. Keep your arm down because you roll right over that arm. Keep your chin tucked so you don't smack your head on the floor. As you're rolling back, we'll go slow. Back, 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 you're going over this shoulder. So tuck out, get your head out of the way. Bring those legs up and over to your side. And you're up, okay? These are just working from the floor. We'll try that one more time. Rolling back. And up. Now let's go back on the other side. So I got to turn around. So we're going to go back a few times on this side. This arm's going to be out. If you want, you can take this hand and use it as a, as a guide. And you're up. Okay, so let's walk back. This arm's out. Rolling over the shoulder. If you want to use your opposite arm as a little guide, you can do, do this. And you roll back. Bring those feet over like we did when we practiced. If you're having a hard time with that, then just do this one. Roll back forward. Roll other side, forward, just like when we went straight back, but you're not going to roll straight back, right? So you're going to roll to the side, and then you just keep that momentum going, and roll around that shoulder. Okay? So you want to keep practicing that. Now, if you're standing up, we can do a couple of them, a couple of practices just for, for uh, kind of a back roll from standing. The easiest one is you just buckle your feet, buckle your knees, sit like you're doing a squat. You guys gotta know how to do squats, right? So you come down into a squat, set yourself down, and then look where you end up. Roll, kick up, slap. Roll, kick up, slap. So if we're up here, Squat, and then you're almost in the sitting position anyway. You just roll back, kick up, slap, come back up, and up. Try that again. Squat, roll back, slap, kick up. Okay, one more time. Squat, roll back. Okay, you got that? Not too bad, right? So, now let's try the same thing, but do the roll over the shoulder. So we're gonna squat here. We're gonna roll back over this shoulder, but instead of slapping, we're gonna slap, but roll over the shoulder. So don't stop your backward momentum. So from here, roll, look over that shoulder, and there you go, okay? Squat, roll back, take this hand, and you just roll right over it. Let's go other direction. We'll, we'll slap and kick up. Go down, squat, roll back, kick up, and back up. Okay, down. Roll back, kick up. You might not be able to roll back up. That's might be easy for you, might not, it might not be. One more time, squat, roll back, slap, kick up, and back. All right, so now let's try going over the other shoulder. We're going to do the back roll. Going down, squat. You're gonna roll over the shoulder. If you wanna use this hand to guide, you can. Roll back. 
And we're not standing up yet, we're just rolling back and we're just coming up to our knees, okay? Later on, we'll go full roll into a stand. But for now, squat. This hand's gonna go out. Tuck, make sure you tuck your head. Get it out of the way and roll over, okay? So that's uh, a basic back roll. Practice that. So let's do a flat fall, just a quick flat fall. From your knees, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your arms up. I actually use this when I teach people how not to fall down or how to break their fall if they trip and fall. Because most people stick their arms out like this, right? Uh, and they break their wrists or their elbows. So if you can, you want to try to use the meat on your forearms. Turn your head so you don't smash your nose. Put your arms out like this and break your fall. Okay? If you're not used to it, it's a little bit weird because everybody goes like this. All right? If you're standing up and you start falling and you put your arms out like that, you have a good chance on breaking your wrists or your elbows. So you have two choices. You can either roll, do a forward roll, or you can flat fall. You got meat right here, right? That's, you should have a little bit of meat there anyway. So all you have to do is turn your head out of the way because people tend to break their nose when they fall because they just, <laughs> just face fall, right? So turn your head and use your forearms. All right, let's practice that a couple times. Arms up, turn your head, and breathe when you hit. Try not to hold your breath. So you basically exhale as you're, as you're hitting. So somebody pushes you forward, you trip and fall, you know, uneven sidewalk, go up. Okay, you're less likely to break, break something if you can land on the meat and let your arms and shoulders be the, your suspension system. Falling, down. One more time, falling, down. And yes, we're using a mat, but um, you can do it outside too. You'll, you'll, you'll get scuffed up, of course, but um, better than breaking your wrists. So look to the other side this time. Ah, oh, falling down. Boom. Come up one more time. Ah, uh, falling. And up. All right, so. Those are a couple of simple, simple things. Good to practice. You always want to try to warm up a little bit first. You want to protect your wrists, protect your knees, protect your elbows, all the joints, right? So um, next time we'll do maybe a, the next level up. If you want to practice these a little bit so that uh, the next time we don't have to start all over again, kind of get used to seeing if you can do a back roll and a forward fall. Um, or a back roll where you break your fall. Try that, and, um, and we'll see how it goes. And then next time, we'll try to do some front rolls and uh, some other things. All right, so let's take a couple of deep breaths. Relax, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. All right. Thanks for joining. Hope, uh, hope you practice that a little bit at home, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great, great day.